We're going to start this video off at the end of the last car here, this rusted piece of junk they dragged out of a ditch from some farmer's field. It's probably a good story. So we're discussing this end of the axle nut cotter pin, and the fellow's telling me it ain't real. And out of the trunk he pulls a dummy sandwich plate with a fake axle that they sandwich on the end of the quick change to make it look like you've got the old Ford axle. And I could make this video 34 seconds long and end it right here, but we got to look at the rest of the cars in this shop. How do you like that? That's been cut off with a grinder. And that's how you make a more modern rear end look like it would have been in 1933. Got some other beat up parts in the trunk. New York 1932. What we're looking at here is a Rolling Bone Special. Three window, brand new body with patina. Serious patina and a male slot window. Engine turn dash with oil pressure, water temperature, and attack. That's all you need. So that we just know that everything is there. Y block, high horsepower. With a brass fire extinguisher overflow bottle and a cowl vent. And how do we describe to you the finish? They painted it yellow, then they painted it black. Primer, too much flattening agent, too much reducer, and you end up with all kinds of crackles. How it all started was, the guy bought this grill shell on eBay for a lot of money, and the patina was so nice on that grill shell, he says, can you make me the rest of the car to match the grill shell? They said, no problemo. It'll be the only one ever made like that that wasn't dragged out of a farmer's field where the chickens got tired of living in it. Yeah. And he sold it to some stupid kid for a thousand dollars or whatever. It looks like it, but no, it was stamped in... That's all rust, don't worry about it. It's genuine, don't scratch it. You can only touch it if you got a rusty scotch bright in your hand or an SOS pad. So that grill shell is pretty original. And the rest of the car was painted to match the grill shell. There's Mr. Rolling Bones. This light bar used to bolt to the top of the fender over here, but once the fenders are chucked in the trash, you got to put the light bar somewhere, so they put it on the end of the frame. And the frame also has that rust effect, like the drippy roof. Yeah. Juice brakes, not much else. Split the wishbones. This wishbone used to run to the bottom of the transmission. They used to meet at the transmission. Cut it, and move it out, and bolt it to the frame so you can put a different transmission in. I'm learning as I go along. Ford truck shock mount, light bar welded to it. A lot of different ways to do things. Amazing. Yep. I'm learning as I go along. The conduit used to come out of the hole in the grill shell to go to the fender. That was a lamp. So what are they going to do with that hole? I don't know. And look at air-cooled brakes. Wow. Yeah. Juice brakes. These cars, they came with mechanical brakes until 37 or 38. Mechanical rod actuated brakes. Henry Ford wasn't going to have any of this hydraulic brake crap. Look at that patina. It's got genuine naga hide. If ever you try to catch a naga hide, you know it's a very hard animal to catch and to skin. V8. Original chicken wire roof with the wood, oak or ash. Very nice. It's 237 turns, lock to lock, real slow steering. <laughs> One day to hook it up. It's got old cloth covered wiring. It might have a T5, maybe. Sometimes they run an old transmission, but they usually run a new one. Flock spare fuse. Yeah, and the flock scrub box. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm going to let the door go here. Yeah, what a beauty. And if you're looking at this smooth as a baby's butt roof, you think that's all original tin, you'd be wrong because that was all welded. That's all beautifully welded. All metal bodywork. That roof was a lot higher, probably six inches higher. That was up here. They took the axe to it. And down comes the roof. Going to be able to drive this thing with a mail slot roof window? <laughs> it's great. Quick change. Yep, they follow a very specific formula. 1950s. Beautiful formula. Transverse leaf spring, quick change axle. Dual exhaust on a Y block. What are these taillights from? These bullet 39 Chevy. 39 Chevy with a glass lens. Aren't they sweet? Originally they would have been inside the fender or standing up from the fender. Maybe the left one only with a license plate bracket. <laughs> we fixed it right up, huh? Like those tailpipes. Perfect. Quite the hot rod. 1932 three window suicide. The fellow who's having the car built, built the engine himself. Love our 32 Fords. Take one home with me any day. I bet you you could make this thing go 180 miles an hour. If anybody could, you could. This car.